everyone welcome to Poor Painting with Ron. I hope you've been really well since the last time we saw each other. Well today I'm going to have another go at a painting I did for the first time last time and I'm going to change a few things around just to see if I can um, make it look a little bit better. Um, if you didn't see the last video uh, this is the, the painting that I did last time was this one it was um, a swipe and balloon press using really thin paints and also used a bit of silicon oil. Um, I think it dried really well although I did end up with most of my colour up in this corner and not as much colour down this corner. Still looks alright but I prefer a, probably a more more even look across the canvas so that's what I'm going to try to do today. And so today I'm using a bigger canvas this is a 50 by 60 centimeter thin edge canvas and just like I usually do I've taped off the back with some painters tape and put in some giant push pins just to keep it off the surface of the table. Now the paints I'm going to be using today are a mix of different brands. For my base coat I'm just using Montmartre um, Titanium White um, um, keeping that a nice thin consistency. I'll show you that in a little bit. Now the colours on the top you want to use something that's got a really good pigment load because you're spreading them out quite a, a long way. So I'm using the same colours I did last time plus one extra one simply because I had those colours left over. So I'm using the Joe Sonia's paints and today I'm using their um, what's this one? Brilliant Magenta the aqua, um, ultramarine blue and the rich gold. Now they're the ones I used last time. Now I did have a little bit of another metallic colour left over that I thought would look interesting on this one. This one is a deco art Americana decor metallic and it's uh, the berry colour. So I've added that to the mix today. Now the pouring medium I'm using is Floetrol. So I've mixed up equal amounts of paint, all the colours, equal amounts of paint and Floetrol and then I've added enough water to get a nice runny consistency. It's almost as runny as a consistency I use for um, a Dutch pour. Simply because I found if it's too thick and you try to like, press the balloons in, the paint will sort of like clump together and like flow back again into the middle. I found a, a thinner consistency on the canvas um, works a little bit better for this technique. Well, I think so anyway. All right, let's get started. Righto, so here we are. I'm competing today with some noise from outside. I've got painters here outside painting my house and I'm in here doing a painting. So hopefully you can hear me okay. All right, so this is my canvas ready. Now I mixed up heaps of white. Oh, I mixed up about 600 um, grams of white. I don't need that much, but it's better having more than I need than not enough. As you can see, it's quite thin. If I do a little twirly shape, the bump stays on there for only about one second or so. So nice and thin, you don't want it really thick for this technique. And my paints are perhaps even a little bit, a little bit thinner than that. I don't get a mound when it dribbles off the spoon and the little twirly shape only stays there half a second or so. You don't need a lot of colour for this technique. All right, so my first step is to cover my canvas with the white. I think one of these is thinner than the other one. I think this one is. I'll use this one first. And if I need to, I'll use the other one. So I'll just spread it around the canvas like so. Yes, I will need some of the other one. Not a lot. It 
should be plenty. Now I'll just spread it out with my palette knife and then I'll tilt it a bit just to get rid of excess amount and cover the sides. Now I'll give it a torch just to pop the air bubbles. Now I'll do a similar design to what I did last time, starting up at this corner and sweeping down this way. But rather than putting all my colours in by the end, I'll like spread them out over the canvas and see if that works a little bit better. Now, I'll start with the gold. And oh, yeah, I'll do one colour at a time. Then I'll do some of the blue. Some aqua. Just repeat just repeat down the canvas Plenty of colour. This one. Just do some drizzles across like so. I do like the other colours, I might do a few drizzles like this as well. There's random drizzles like that. <laughs> Yeah, 
I think, I think that's plenty of paint this time. Okay. Now, um, my cell activator, I had a bit left from last time that I'll mix in the new lot. And I'll also add some silicone oil. So I'll put in two drops of silicone oil. Oop, that was three. And then I'll mix it in reasonably well. Now the swipe color again is really thin. You want it nice and thin so you can drag it over these other colors. Right. Then I'll put it at this end. And a bit up here, I think. And then I'll get a paper towel and my spray bottle and I'll dampen it and then I'll drag it across. So I'll just do that off camera. Okay. So I've got my damp paper towel and I'll put it at the end here. Just lay it across like so. And I'll drag it across. I'll need to do it twice. To do the other colours as well. So I'll just dampen my other one. Okay, just up here. I'll put a bit of swipe color up there and I'll lay it on just drag it like so now I don't have much color up at this corner so I do need to tilt it a little bit So it looks a bit messy, but the balloon presses will fix all of that up. Okay, I'll just get some of my white. And 
fix the part that I wiped off with my paper towel. go flat once it's dry so I'm not too worried about bumps at this stage okay now I do have my color on here now quite a bit more color than I did last time now I'm going to let this sit for at least half an hour um, and then I'll come back and do the balloon presses. So I'll see you soon. Okay, we're back again. Now it's time to do the, the interesting part, the creating of the flowers. Now I'm hoping that my paint isn't too thick. Putting all that extra colour on, put a lot more paint on the canvas. But the only way to find out is by, by starting. So I've got this little balloon here and I'll just use the side of the balloon today not the, the bottom part um, and I'll dip it in the paint lift it off and then wipe it off on a little bit of towel so let's see I might start up here a bit thick but I might try the bigger balloon I'm done. I think it looks really really beautiful. I just as you saw I just blew out the edges a little bit just to soften the edges. Now I'll just go over with the, the torch, pop any bubbles
Okay, cool. I think that turned out nice. Well, I'll bring you in for a closer look. So, I'll just bring you in close. And you can see the, the lovely flower patterns we ended up with today. I think the paint was a bit thick in the middle here. But I think it turned out very nice. I, I prefer the delicate ones at the ends. So what did you think of that one today? I think it turned out really nice, perhaps better than the last one that I did. If that's a technique you'd like to try, just keep your paints thin and don't put too much on the canvas, otherwise when you do your balloon press and lift up, the paint just all flows back into the middle again. Depends of course what look you're going for. But anyway, it's time for me to clean up now. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video today. If you like what you saw, please take a moment to press the like button. And if you'd like to see more of my content, please take a moment to subscribe. Well, I hope you have a great week ahead, and I look forward to seeing you again next time. In the meantime, happy painting.